the stars, the ancient unseen enemies of mankind wait and hunger. Be strong and give them no quarter. Well, guys, you might wonder where was the mission briefing. I actually effed up a tinsy little bit. I don't even know what was going on in my head there. Um, we. This is a terrorist mission, as you might um, see, but um, I did not use any tarot card at all. I just pressed the start mission button like a dumb ass. But anyhow, so it is sometimes mistakes just happen. That is human. Um, we still have a wonderful purge mission. This is a auto mission. The third one we can do for the next one or two days, I think. I think tomorrow, as it is Monday, you get three more missions there. Yes, it is another purge. Um, we tried a purge in the last episode as well, which didn't went very well because we died absolutely there. Fun fact, I even want to take a look at the tarot cards and find out which card not to use anymore since all enemies, all, every little rebel guardsman, every little gobbler received heavy armor and there you well you, you you have a lot of reduced damage or all of your damage is actually reduced from around 150 to 200 to 30 to 50 which is absolutely insane if you take um, for a normal rebel guy which has normal armor as you see here and it just takes ages to take them down. It's very, very frustrating in the end, to be completely honest with you. I was in the end glad that we so quickly died. I am honest there. Okay, there is a orbital strike. The downside, of course, I don't want to have any excuses here. Don't get me wrong, that is not the point. The little problem there as well was that we did not have any inoculators to use there. I don't know. Um, I, I do know why. It was the bloody um, tarot card I used there. Since I don't know anymore which one it was, we or I need really to get um, to take a good read on all of them. It is luckily the first time that that has happened. This is the very good part. Wind Rider down, and we already cleared out half of the enemies. That, of course, is very, very good. I do like that. Holding benches. Okay, there we have an Exarc, which we will hopefully now actually focus on. But quickly, she's going to be taken down as well. She even is a villain. Okay. Luckily, she ain't exploding. That would have been. Very, very not so good there. Alright, Red Blade. Oh my goodness, did you see that? That, that of course was absolutely insane. Um, sometimes, of course, even against them normal Eldari. Uh, Eldari, yes, that's right. Um, you need to be very, very careful not to be taken down. Not too, too easy, but. Um, well, yes, too too easy, that is what I wanted to say. Okay, he's down. She's down as well. The swooping Hawks, always easy target because just a couple of hits of our normal gun does the trick and they are quickly taken down. Alright. Come on, resummon, resummon, resummon and be happy. So red plates, of course, are ugly targets because they are. Although uh, it is said that they, okay, yes, they might have just a simple, simple armor, but they, of course, with the ten thousand HP, um, it takes a long time to deal with them indefinitely. That is the weird part about those guys. Larger group is here as well. They shall, well, they pose no problem at all. All of them easily taken down. 
So, I can, I, I, I know I say that very, very often, I think I say that in nearly every episode, but one thing, of course, you're gonna have to laugh about this game, especially on, so to say, on the outside missions. The battle is swinging our way. One last push and the victory is ours. Where you are not in a Imperial facility or a Imperial ship, um, especially on this um, maps where you have a lot of runes in it. It's absolutely amazing to play on, to play this game on because of the all the bloody destructible environment which is such a blessing for the eye. Okay, one enemy remains and that is a wave serpent where we need of course to be a tinsy a little bit careful because this wonderful machine as you can see teleports new units in. It is theoretically a little bit like a chaos gate only a chaos gate that can shoot. Taking this stuff with me there was one more chest which I of course will take with me as well and on it goes i know this episode might have been a little shorter than the other ones but guys sometimes the episodes need to be shorter rather short than their episode right that's something that, that was a actually nonsense anyhow we will now take a quick look at the items we have received with a little teensy bit of luck we might have had a upgrade um if so, that would of course be very, very amazing. Our inventory is full again. I am very, very lazy with that. I always want to um, sort all the stuff out in the off when I'm not recording, but I'm never ever, <laughs> I'm not getting to that point. But guys, so that right now leads us to actually the end of this episode. And you know, I really Thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.